so we're going to start from the the start we talks about electrical or electricity all right so the first thing that we're going to do is to define some terms and then we do some calculations all right so the first term is a uh, charge so we know a charge is uh, any particle that has that is a positive or a negative uh, feature on it. So it's basically an ion. So a charge is basically an ion. And we know charge in physics is represented by Q, which is equal to I times T. Right? Now we know the Coulomb is the unit of charge, which is represented by uh, capital C. And a coulomb is a charge passing a point in a circuit when there is a current of one amp per one second. So that's the definition of what a coulomb is. Then the next term is our potential difference, which is basically the difference in the charge from one side of a circuit to the, the, uh, the next side. So that's why it's called a potential difference. So there is a difference in the charge concentration from one side to the next side, right? And we know that V voltage or potential difference is equal to work done over the charge amount. And we know we have volts, where one volt is a potential difference between two points such that the energy transferred from electrical to other forms is one joule per coulomb. And that's from the equation before V equals W over Q. All right, so another term is the resistivity of materials. So resistivity of materials tells us how much, basically how much impedance charges will have when it's flowing through a specific conductor, All right? So when charges are moving in a conductor, then it actually will collide with the atoms in that structure of the conductor and it will cause it to slow down and change its path. So that, that effect is actually recorded as the resistivity of a material, which is represented by the rho symbol, right? So R represents your resistance of your material equals the resistivity times the length of the conductor over the cross-sectional area of the conductor. So uh, the resistivity of a material increases with increase in temperature. So once you increase the temperature of the, the conductor, then your resistivity changes because if we look here, that if we make resistivity the subject of this equation, then resistivity is equal to, yes, what do we have? Resistivity equal to? Rho equal R, hold on. I times A over L. So R times A over L. All right, so when we increase temperature, then your area of your conductor increases as well. All right, and that's because your material will expand. So expansion will cause the area to, change, to increase. So if you increase that, then that means your resistivity also will increase. Right, so that's why when temperature increases, your resistivity of your material also increases. All right, and we look at the electromotive force versus your potential difference. So electromotive force is what we get from our power supply. So it's the voltage that is being supplied by your power supply, either your battery or your AC supply. Right, while your potential difference is what we spoke about is the difference in the charges around the circuit. So potential difference is happens inside the circuit while EMF is supplied by the, the battery. All right, so those are important things that we need to know before we look at some calculations. Another before we look at some calculations are the terminal 
voltage, which is also known as a potential difference, and the EMF, which we just found. The external load, which is any device that is connected within the circuit. So a resistor, a lamp, a rheostat, LED, all those things are known as external loads. And then finally, the internal resistance. So the internal resistance, R, common R, is the resistance inside the supply that actually reduces the amount of voltage that the battery actually supplies. So on the battery, we normally see like a nine volt, right? But if we're supposed to connect a, a voltmeter across the battery, the voltmeter will read a value that is less than nine, even if the battery is new. And that's because there is an internal resistance inside the battery that reduces or actually takes away some of the voltage to reduce it from being nine, right? So, the, so we can find that voltage. So B out is, the amount that is supplied by the, supply, the battery. Uh, so it's equal to the EMF, which is what the battery is rated at, minus the I times R, small r here, represents your internal resistance. So the I times R here is your voltage across your internal resistance inside the battery, right? So if you minus that from your EMF, you get what the battery will actually supply. All right, so let's look at some questions. All right, let's go. So question one, a battery of EMF 4 volts and internal resistance 2 amp is joined to a resistor of 8 ohm. Calculate a terminal PD. Uh, what additional resistance in series with an 8 ohm resistor would produce a terminal PD of 3.6 volts? This is a two-part question. So let's do the first part, which says, Calculate the terminal, the thermal, the terminal PD. All right. So the first thing that we're going to do is to sketch a diagram of the circuit here. So we say that we have a battery. All right. It has an internal resistance. So we're going to draw a resistor here. All right. So the EMF. So the EMF is. Four volts. The internal resistor value is two ohm. And it's joined to a eight ohm resistor. So we need to calculate what's the term terminal PD. So the terminal PD would be the P out right here. All right, since it's just one resistor, it's the V out at that resistor there. Sir, I can't see what you wrote at the top. Seen it now? Yes, thank you. All right, so we have to recall that we know that V out is equal to the EMF minus I times R. So the aim is to find V out. So we know E is the EMF of the battery four. We don't have the current, right? But we have the internal resistance R. So how do we find the current? using what we have. V equals IR. V equals IR. So how would we move from V equals IR? You're going to change the V out to IR. Say so change the V out to IR. Which is equal to E minus IR. All right, so therefore we can work to find the I's, right? Because we know that the R here would be the R, the resistor R. So it's I times E is equal to the E, which is 4, minus I times R, which is 2. So this is 8I equals 4 minus 2I. T this over becomes positive, so it's 10I equals 4 
So i is equal to 0 0.4 amps. But that's the current. It asks us to find the V out. So we use a V equals I R now. So the V out would be equal to the I, which is 0 0.4, times the R, which is 8, which is 3.2 volts. All right, so everybody see that? So you use 8 because that's the resistor for the V out? Yes, but remember V out is what's over the, the external load. And the load here is the 8 ohm resistor. So the current that flows through the internal resistor is the same current that will flow through the, the external load. So that's why we use the same I right there. All right, so we notice that the VO supplied by the battery is less than your EMF because it has uh, internal resistance. All right. And the next part says what additional resistance in series with this 8 ohm resistor would produce at 3.6 volts. All right, so now it's asking us to work in the opposite manner. So So it's saying if we want a V out of 3.6 what additional resistor do we need to put, right? So we have that eight here, and we're going to call this resistor R1. So this is unknown, right? And the V out that the battery would give is 3.6. So we need to find what that R is. So how will we do that now? Would it be the same current that would be produced if we introduce a new resistor? Can I repeat the question, please? Would it be the same amount of current that would be produced with the new resistor? So remember the current before was 0 0.4. Would it be the same 0 0.4 that's going now that we add a new resistor? Maybe. Yeah. Yes, sir. It's in series, I guess. It would be the same. What's Remember, based on Ohm's law, I is equal to V over R. What are we doing here in regards to R? We're changing R. Is R being increased or decreased here? In huh? It's increasing from it's three increasing. point two no, to R, three. R, 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 not V. The oh. R. Right, because we have eight here and we introduced a new one that's in series. So we know here that this is basically R. So the, this is basically eight plus R1. Right? Yeah. So if we increase this value, then that means what's going to happen to I? Decrease. I is going to decrease our, our change, right? So now we have to find back the new R. The new, so we need to find back the new I, right? So we know now that the V out is 3.6. So we go back to the V out equals EMF minus IR. So the V, the V out is 3.6, the EMF is still 4 minus I, which is unknown times 2. Right, so we take this over, so it's 3.6 minus 4 equals negative 2I. This is 0 point, negative 0 0.4 equals negative 2I divided by negative 2. So therefore, I is equal to 0 0.2. Amps. Sir, in the uh -huh. second line, is that IR squared? This side? Yeah. IR, IR squared? No, it's 3.6 equal 4 minus I times 2. And it's R. R is 2.
Alright, and then we take over the 4, and then we divide by negative 2. So we get the new current to be 0 0.2. So now we can use here, because we know that the new current now is 0 0.2, which is equal to the, the V out, the V here, which is V out, which is 3.6 over 8 plus R1. And why did we add here? Because um, in a series, they are in series. Exactly. Yeah, they're in series. So these are in series, so your total resistance is just the sum of them. All right, so now we find R1, we cross multiply here, so it's 0 0.2 times 8, which is 1.6 plus 0 0.2 R1 equals 3.6. We take this over, so it becomes negative. So it becomes 0 0.2 R1 equals 2, and we divide by 0 0.2, and we get 10. Yep. So we get R1 will be equal to 10 ohm. All right, so everybody got that? Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, subtract. You bring over the 1.6. Yes, yeah, so it becomes negative. So 3.6 minus 1.6. You get 2. I have 0 0.2 R1. So you divide by 0 0.2 on both sides. So 2 over 0 0.2. And you get 10. All right, so that's question 1. All right, question 2. A battery of EMF 24 volts and internal resistance R is connected to a circuit having two parallel resistors 3 and 6 in, in series with an 8 ohm resistor. The current flowing through in the 3 amp resistor is 0 0.8 amps. Calculate the current in the 6 ohm resistor. Alright, so again we have to do a sketch of your circuit. So we have the, the battery, which has a internal resistance. All right, so this time it's now in parallel to two resistors that are in series to another resistor here. So these resistors are 3 ohm and 6 ohm. It's in series with a 8 ohm resistor. So the EMF is 24 volts. This internal resistance is unknown R. And in this branch here, I here is 0. Yes, so those are things given, and then we need to find the current going for this I2. So we need to find I2 current here. All right, so how do we find the current I2? What is unique about these two resistors, the 3 and the 6 ohm? They are parallel. They are parallel. So what do we know about? resistors that are in parallel in terms of voltage. They have the same voltage. They have the same voltage. Okay. So if we notice that the 3 ohm has a current, so we can find the voltage there. So if we find the voltage of the 3 ohm resistor, it's the same voltage as the, the 6 ohm resistor. Okay. And in that case, it's the same as I times R. So the I is 0 0.8, the R is 3. So this is a 2.4 volts. Right? So if we have 2.4 volts here, that's a 2.4 volts that will be right here as well. So we can find I because I is equal to E over R. So E is 2.4, and the R now would be the, the 6. So if you divide that, you get 
zero point three. Zero point four. So you get zero point four amps. All right, what you got? Huh? All right, so let's move to the next part, which says find R, which is your internal resistance. All right, so we should note now that because these two branches, we have the current here, then that means we can find the total current in this circuit, which is the sum of 0 0.4 and the 0 0.8. So the total current is equal to 0 0.4 plus 0 0.8, which is 1.2 amps. Right? So with the total current here, we can find our internal resistance R, because we know that V out is equal to E times IR. Right? So we also know we're going to need to find the, the voltage across this 8 ohm resistor. Right? Because we have the voltage here already, which is 2.4. So we need this voltage here. So this is the current that is flowing through the 8 ohm resistor. So therefore, its voltage would be 1.2 times 8 which is 9.6, 9.6 volts, right? So therefore, the total voltage output would be, the V out would be your 9.6 plus your 2.4. And that's 12 volts. So this is 12 equals your EMF 24 minus I, which is 1.2 times R. So we take this over, so it becomes 12 minus 24, which is negative 12, equals negative 1.2 R divided by negative 1.2. So therefore, R would be equal to 10 volts. Sorry, which number are Part two. Okay, thanks. All right, so that's your total internal resistance, which is 10 ohms. All right, and finally, the terminal PD of the, the battery, All right, which we already know, which is our 12 volts. So we don't need to work that one out. All right, so the time is going to expire now. All right, when we come back, we're just going to do two more questions and then that will be it for today. All right, so I'm going to close now and then come back so we can do two more questions. And that's it. All right, so question four. The two resistors of 1,200 ohm and 800 ohm are connected in series with a battery EMF 24 volts and negligible internal resistance. What's the potential difference across each resistor? All right, so let's draw the sedge. So in this case, we don't have an internal resistor. We just have two resistors in series. All right, so one is 600, one is 1,200, so 800, right? And the EMF is 24. So because there is no internal resistance, what does that say of V out? Yes, guys? So if there is no internal resistance, then V out would be what? Zero. No. They're just calculating normal. And the V out is the same as EMF. It's the same as the EMF. 
right? So your e, your V out would be the same as your EMF. So that means your voltage here plus your voltage here should add up back to be 24. Okay? So the first thing that we need to do, we need to know what's the current flowing here. All right? So we know that since there is no internal resistance, then V is just equal to IR. Right? So I would be V over R, which is your total current, total resistance. Right? So your total resistance would be the sum, which is 1,200 plus 800, which is 2,000 ohm. So in this case, it's 24 over 2,000. Which is equal to zero point zero one two up. All right, so that's your total current that's flowing around your circuit. So we can find the voltage now of each. So let's call this one and call this two. So your voltage at one is equal to I R. Right, so your I is 0 0.012 times your R, which is 800, which gives us 9.6 volts. Right, so that's your voltage here. And then your next voltage will be 0 0.012 times 1,200, which is 14.4 volts. So those would be your two terminal voltages. All right, so we're looking at the final thing now, which is question five. All right, so in this case, we're just finding the total, your internal resistance of the battery. All right, we have the current that is being produced. Sir, are you just finished number four? Yes. Um, to the part about 600. Uh -huh. The part, this is about 600. Yeah, right there, so oh, this part? Alright, so that part says if we have a voltmeter connected across each, right? But your voltmeter has a resistance of 600. Uh, oh, so the question would be that if your voltmeter has a resistance, does that affect the amount of current that is passed through? Yes, sir. As in the amount of current that's passed through the circuit. So if we introduce this resist voltmeter of this resistance, does it affect the current that originally was passed into without it? Oh, no. No, it doesn't. Right, because both meters are there to represent to actually affect, not affect the current that's flowing, right? Just to record the voltage that is there. So what this question basically is is basically your same answers will apply as what we just found, because this resistance is not going to affect the current that's flowing in your circuit then that means the voltage that was originally here would be the same as we calculated before and the same that would be there. So there is no calculation basically. We are just going to explain that current don't pass through a voltmeter. So therefore, this resistance will not affect the total current that was there before. Excuse me. Yes. Um, so it was a trick question basically. Yeah, it was a trick question. Wow. All right, thanks. All right, no problem. All right, so question five. All right, so we have the circuit there. We have a current flowing through the lamp at 0 0.3 amps. The EMF is 5.4. And the voltage reading, which is the voltage output is 4.8. We need to find the total internal resistance. 
All right, so that's, I'm going to leave that one to you guys, giving you five minutes, so you can tell me what answers you got. So question five. Sir, I got two, I don't know, two, two points. I'm not sure, I got two. Yeah, it's actually two. So it is two amps, because right, all we use is V out equals EMF minus IR, and we substitute our values, and we get that. So that was an easy one. All right, so I'm going to give you a last, last one to ensure that we got, because that was too easy. All right, so question 11. Are you seeing this one? Which question now, sir? 11. You're seeing this one? All right. I'm seeing I'm not seeing 11. All right, let me, re let me share it over. All right, this one. All right, so this one, sketch a diagram first before you start. Sir, I'm going to get 6.6, .6, but we know this doesn't make no sense. For internal resistance? Yeah. Anybody else got that? All right, so when a particular cell is on open circuit, the PD between its terminal is 1.5 volts. When a 10, so I have a cell, we have a 10 ohm resistor between the terminal. PD falls to 1, and when the 10 is replaced by resistor R, the PD across sums that. All right, so basically that's our circuit. <coughs> All right, so we're going to give it an internal resistor. So what it's saying is that without, so without the the R, then your voltage was 1.5, right? And then when this is added, then your voltage, so with R, your voltage is 1.0, and then when it's replaced, with another one, so unknown, R, it becomes 0 0.5 volts. What's the internal resistance of your, all right, so how would we go about doing that? So we need to find the internal resistance, R, of your cell. So you have to use the voltage where the second one, the 1 1.0, since that say so with R, to get the internal resistance. How oh, you know which one of the V them to use? Well, you have to use more than one. All right, so the first thing you know that you have to make use of V out equals your EMF. Minus uh, with I the 1.5 with the EMF, is that All right, so we have to make use of this. Now, the, the question says is that without R, meaning that we just have the battery, and we'll put the, the boot meter around it, we get 1.5. And what that 1.5 tells us is this value here. So your 1.5 is actually the E minus IR. Right? So in the first case, so without R, then your V out is 1.5 equals your EMF minus IR. 
All right? And then when we put with R, then it's your out now becomes. So with R, your out now becomes 1.0 equals EMF minus I R. So let's call this I1, call this I2, because those current will be different. All right, so what can we do here? Join them. Join them. Group, group them. All right, so if we make a uh, group them based on ease, but yet still you're going to have unknown I1 and I2. So what's, well, we know something that oh, you can is, find the current. No, all right. So we know something about this, all right? Because it's when, when it's connected to this, all right? So we know that V out is also equals to the I times R, right? And we have V out being 1.0. I is unknown, but we know R is. Yes. May I understand what just do? The V out, the v, go back from the V out equal I R. So we know this V out here is when it's connected to a 10 ohm resistor, right? So this one is when this resistor is connected to the cell, correct? Right? Let's say you cannot break up this one. Okay, so the V out is when we're connected to this resistor. So this is this one volt is being supplied by your battery for your cell here, right? So that means that V out is equal to I R. The so I is the current flowing, R is your resistor that is connected to. So in that case, then this I would be one divided by ten, which is zero point one amp. Right, so this is I2. So we have I2 being 0 0.1 amp. Right, so we know I2. Right, so how else can we work? So with, without R, this now is 0. And why is that 0? No resistance. So zero resistance. Yeah, so this part is when we don't connect it to anything, right? So why is this IR here is zero? Why when it's not connected to a resistor, then IR here is zero? So if you don't have no resistance, then I have no internal resistance. So that's why IR is zero? No. The open circuit? Exactly. If you're open circuit, then that means there's no current. Oh, yeah. Okay. So there is no current flowing because there is not a complete circuit. So from this, we know that the EMF is equal to 1.5 volts. Right? So now we can substitute this right here to find R. So we have 1.0 is equal to the EMF 1.5 minus I, which is 0 0.1 times R. So D this over becomes negative 0 0.5 equals negative 0 0.1 R divided by 0 0.1, negative 0 0.1. So R here would be 5 ohms. Anyone got that? So you said the EMF is 1.5 because it's without, without R. Because it don't, yeah, without R, so therefore no current is flowing. So I R here will be zero. All right, so that's your value of your internal resistance, five ohm. The next part is to find the value of R. So your unknown R, so if this now is replaced by something unknown, so we don't know what this is, right? And we get our V out to be 0 0.5, what is this unknown. Alright, so in this case, this one should be easier. 
right? Because we have the EMF, so we know the V out is 0 0.5, the EMF is 1.5 minus I and R is 5. All right, so we take this over, so it becomes 1, negative 1 1.0 equals negative 5i divided by negative 5. So i is equal to 0 0.2 amp. So that's the current flowing when we have the unknown resistor. Right? So to find the, the value of the resistor now would be V equals I R. The R is V over I. The V here is 0 0.5 and the I is 0 0.2. So this is 1 point. This is 2.5 ohm. All right, everyone got that? Press AC. All right, guys, so that's it for, for today. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, bye, sir. Bye-bye.